Join the discussion now. 844-MOJO-LIVE. 844-665-6548. This is Mojo in the Morning. Just to recap you, Amanda suspected that her husband was cheating on her. She's six months pregnant, too. And heartbreaking when just a few moments ago you heard him send flowers to another person. Now, she ended up getting an interesting DM sent to her by somebody who was, like, apologizing for having some kind of involvement with her husband. This one is a tough one for us because of the baby and her pregnancy and we want to make sure her health is okay. So we're going to call in a Mojo in the Morning regular to help us with this one. Uh, Therapist Jen is going to give some advice to Amanda. Uh, And Jen, are you there? Yeah. Hey, thanks for going on with us. Um, Amanda, I want to introduce you to a very, very nice person here. It's a very smart woman. It's Therapist Jen. She's a regular on our show. Hi. Hi, Amanda. So, Jen, Amanda is pregnant, and she just found out that her husband sent flowers. We don't know what more, what the extent is more between uh, him and and another female coworker. And I wanted to just have you give her advice on, you know, what she should initially do. Not, you know, hopefully Mm -hmm. not overreacting and keeping her health safe, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and I, th- yeah, that's the greatest advice is really try, you know, we want to react and, and do, a, you know, do a bunch of things that right now, slowing down and just letting some of these emotions settle down. Um, when I've seen this in the past with people, um, there's conversations to be had, you know, about, you know, where he's at with things, whether or not. I've seen people, you know, ha- um, again, quitting a job doesn't, keep someone from cheating continuously, but there are things that you can still work through and figure out. Um, yeah, that but I guess, would be great how if you, you would own it and admit it, but I don't think he's going to. Okay. So that's, how do you work with someone who's not even telling you the truth? Yeah, you can't do the work for two people. So, yeah. right, so you can't drag him along and, and, and make him um, own anything or try to work toward anything. So right now it's all about you and about how you feel about this and what you want to do with this. Obviously, it's about setting yourself up for success. Um, I know sometimes people put things off because of financial reasons and, you know, fear and not knowing what to do. Do you have a place that you can go to, like, or have you asked, are you going to ask him to leave? I'm on leave right now because of, you know, my pregnancy that's a good thing, you know. Obviously, there's family that you got to talk to, but Jen, there's also this that this woman, we believe, and I think Amanda does too, you know, that uh, she reached out to her and was the one that told her about this on Instagram. So, oh. so part of me wonders if she's reaching out to her to say something about you know the, this relationship she was having. I don't know if if she's trying to cut it off and and he doesn't want to let it go. Or if she's just trying to antagonize and, and cause problems. And how do how do these guys get past that trust level if somebody reaches out like that from that, that's like a third party? People can come back from this, but absolutely not if he's not even owning anything. So, and again, um, the focus needs to be about you, Amanda, and not how he feels or not what he's doing, but really how you feel about this okay. and empowering yourself and that's setting yourself up, like her. I said. I think I just okay. want to call her. You should talk to me. And I well, is that a, is that a, is that a good thing for her to do to contact her or just to to focus on her husband? Yeah, you know, it's all. It's like, how do you know if these are two people right now that you really can't trust? And I guess if you're, you know, we're all curious and we want to know details and we want to know information. I guess you want to ask yourself. What would be your intention on contacting that person? Because it's always good to know why you're contacting that person, not just calling and, you know, and then the conversation goes in a circle. So what would be your intention of calling that person? I think just to be clear and be validated that I'm not just having, like, pregnancy hormones and that this isn't just some real 
work friend, but that my gut are right. And the flowers, I mean, my God. But remember, you mm. don't know if you're going to get the truth from her. <sighs> so she could, right. she could tell you a couple of different things, and you don't know that what's going to come out of her mouth is the true story. We know from War of the Roses, Jen, that sometimes there's so many different backgrounds to why the other woman reaches out. Sometimes... They find out the person's married and they were lied to as well. Sometimes mm -hmm. they know there was a marriage and now they're trying to slip in to break that up and get the husband all to themselves. I mean, it, it's a wide spectrum of reasons this woman might have reached out. And, you know, Amanda, you said you wanted to know if you had pregnancy hormones or if you were overreacting. So if you are calling for that reason and then you find out you're right, are you going to be okay. I mean, your health is a concern, so I'm not sure how far along or yeah. if you could compromise your pregnancy. So if you're calling thinking, you know, you might be overreacting and you find out you're not, then you're left with all of those emotions. I just want to know what's really happening so I can make a good decision. Well, here's the first thing I think that you should do just from the experience of doing this is that Ellen's going to get on the phone with you. She's going to talk and get a family member to talk to you and, ha and you know, maybe go, go over to your home and visit you. And let's just focus on your health and your safety. And then after okay. that, maybe Jen, if you're open to it, maybe, you know, she can contact you back and try to get, yeah, get some absolutely. more advice. Absolutely. And if, you know, if you are going to reach out to that person to get more information, definitely make sure someone's with you. Um, okay. Because again, our gut, our gut is usually pretty, pretty on. And then you have these other two things that you know happen that confirm how you're feeling. So, um, and again, the truth. You're always, you're probably not going to get the actual truth from anybody. It's always going to be kind of skewed right now. But okay. um, yeah, but no, like they said, yeah, get support, get help. You know, don't don't attach to shame or hold on to this by yourself. So let people support you. Yeah. Amanda, yeah. Thank, Amanda, I'm going to put you on hold right now. Jen, you're awesome. We appreciate you so much. Jen, there might be a uh, listener that would benefit from your services. Is there a, a, a number or a website you want to share for anyone listening? Um, sure. So advanced counseling, 810-220-2787. That's in Brighton. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you, Jen. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Take care, Amanda. I uh, I wanted to ask this question to our listeners. Um, I wanted to find out from you, why do you think that this person would message Amanda? You know, why would you tell a woman who's pregnant uh, through direct message um, that you need to check your husband and what's going on? I have a couple of different theories on this one, and I wanted to see if the listeners uh, – believe that any of these theories are right one theory is that potentially it's the relationships over with which we heard him saying that he was you know please you know accept this you know like apology I'm or whatever like you're saying yeah i'm sorry right. the other one is she just wants to hurt this woman and uh in in hopes that maybe their relationship kind of you know fizzles uh, you know ends through a divorce or something like that so that she could have this guy and then the third reason is Maybe it's not even her that sent this message. Maybe it maybe it wasn't this other woman who, you know, he's uh, supposedly, you know, hanging out with, you know, or allegedly hanging out with. Um, I don't know. I'd love to know what your your thoughts are on that. 844-MOJO Live, War of the Roses, busting a, a cheater this morning, cheating on his wife who's six months pregnant. What do you think, uh, Marielle? I think that... She just found out that he was married and married in and, and that his wife was pregnant because when he sent the note, he said, I'm sorry, call me. So either I think the other woman that found out and blocked him and stopped talking to him. And now yep. he was he, he's basically begging for her to talk to him because she never knew about the wife. Yep, I totally agree with you. But in that case, if yeah. you know that she's pregnant and she's got this medical thing going on, what, why not just and end it and move on why try to cause right. hurt for he, her 
it's not causing hurt for her, but it's letting her know that her husband is out here cheating with other women because technically she may not be the only other woman that he's cheating with. So maybe you really need to look into your husband and reassess your relationship, reassess your marriage, because it may not really be what it is because I may not even be the first and I may not be the last. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, what's up, uh, Alex? Hey, so um, usually when the other woman makes a fake account, it's to let the main woman know that, hey, you know, this guy is doing this on the side, whatever. But they probably feel threatened that that guy is not going to leave their relationship and they want to get back at it. That's what I was wondering, too. I mean, I, you know, both of you, the, you and Marielle, who we just talked to a second ago, have some valid points to what you're saying. Uh, Roger, what do you think? I think that uh, he started a relationship with her, and somebody else came back and told her that he was married. So she broke it off because she was mad because he lied to her about being married. So that's, what, that's why he, she broke it off. But he's po- trying to apologize, trying to apologize for lying to the girl. But, Roger, here's the thing I don't understand. Whenever I hear these people that cheat at work, how do you not know a coworker's married? All you got to do is ask five coworkers, yeah. you know. Or social media. No, well, no, I, well, I work at people, people don't know. I even have, they, don't, they don't know a whole lot of things about individuals. I mean, if it's, like, if it's a factory or a big plant, they don't know. They don't know. Yeah. Office, yes. You don't work in office, yeah, probably yeah. so. Okay. Big, All right. Fair point. Uh, what's up, Kelly? Um, I actually had the same situation kind of happen to me. I was about four or five months pregnant when my husband was cheating on me. And I had my suspicions. So I actually took it upon myself to reach out to that person's uh, boyfriend. I searched him up on social media, and I found my husband's mistress boyfriend, and I sent him a message. Uh, Hopefully, What what kind of message did you send? I said, hey, I have my suspicions that your girlfriend is messing around with my husband. There's been plenty of text messages. I said, they think my husband kept saying, oh, we're just friends, oh, we're just friends. But then I found more proof, and I sent it to him. And what ended up happening? (laughs) They broke up, too. (laughs) Wow. Um, Hopefully he was bigger than your husband so that he beat his ass. But um, can can I? I actually put that request in. So... uh, (laughs) It didn't happen, but he seems a lot happier now. I mean, he messaged me after the fact and was like, hey, you know, like, thank you for, you know, reaching out to me because we were going through some things and it seemed suspicious to me too, but I never took it upon myself. And I said, hey, no problem because, I I mean, if they want to cheat together, let them be together then. (laughs) Hey, can I ask you to give advice to Amanda being that you found out that, you know, you were being cheated on while you were five months pregnant? Here she is. She's pregnant. She's, uh... You know, I don't want her to have any issues with the baby. What kind of advice can you give her? I mean, the only thing that I could really say, it's hard, especially being pregnant, going through something like that. Um, I mean, my advice would just be definitely, like they said before, have support. Because I know I wouldn't have been able to get through it if I didn't have the support I did. Um, And just knowing that you're not alone and I think for me, it was the feeling of, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be doing this pregnancy by myself when that wasn't the original plan. Now I have to figure out a whole new plan. I think it's just knowing that you could do it regardless if you had him there or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would have to deal with him because he's the baby's father. But just realizing that you're better off and that you can go to other people and that you're not alone. Our producer got in contact with her mom, so her, she's talking to her mom That's right now. Great. So they, thank great. you thank you for telling us that, and thank you for the advice that you just gave to Amanda. Yeah, no problem.